Well, hello, um, I am here with the first tutorial that I'm doing for the May um, subscription kit. But you can also make these with anything that you have. Um, you'll just need to find a template, which you can find them on Google. Um, just a template for a little envelope. This is called the coin envelope. So if you find a template or outline for that, you can just put it on your paper or print one out and cut it out and then trace it onto any paper you have. So super easy. And that's gonna be what we're gonna be making is just a couple of coin envelopes, stuffing them and kind of decorating them. And on these ones in the April kit, they it'll show you exactly where to cut and fold and all of that. I printed this on a lightweight cardstock and I did print one on the back side so that when I open it, it's just cute because, you know, why not? Um, so I wanted to just quickly show you, I have a little scoreboard. I've never had one until about five or six months ago. And I just wanted to kind of run through how I do that. So on this one, I, you just come and line up this line here on the top and the bottom, and then you're just gonna press that little bone folder in there to get just a beautiful fold. And then you can turn it and just really um, squish it down with that bone folder. So that is how those work. If you're gonna do something a certain size, it will tell you the size. This one has inches on it. Um, it does have centimeters. Let me show you down here at the bottom. But for me, inches is good. And um, so if you need a specific size, you can use that. But all of my stuff tends to just have that printed line and I might even just use any random line, but I usually stay near the edge so I can make sure that I'm lined up on the same line on the top as I am on the bottom. So hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, super handy tool, but you don't need it. You can use your fingernail. That's what I did for years. <laughs> and it worked just fine. So let's go ahead and put these together. Um, yeah, I've cut, I've inked. Um, I actually started this video before and my art glitter glue had something stuck in here. I spent like an hour and a half trying to get it off and then I realized that I could take this little silver thing off. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I have a cold too. That's probably why I'm a little dingy in the head. A little bit slow. Woo, see how good that works now? <laughs> it was awesome. Let's just say it was awesome. All right, so I'm gonna fold those two together first. And I wanna be careful because I really don't want any inside because I don't want this getting glued shut at all. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue my little bottom down. Oh, I sound really horrible, I'm sorry. This coal has just been a doozy, but I'm on the mend, so hooray. All right, there we go. That one is glued. Now I have one more. It comes with two different styles. They're just cute. I love these blues in this kit. Blue is a tough color for me. And so this kit has just been so fun. Something totally different. There we go. That will stick forever because it had plenty of glue. All right, now I'm just gonna make sure I didn't glue anything shut. So now I have these two cute little coin envelopes and I made these little cards that are meant to go inside. I, I have two large ones and two small ones. So let's go ahead and glue them together. Now I made these double-sided. So there's journaling on the back. Um, for these, I'm gonna go ahead and just use my glue stick because I really like it when it's fully covered. I printed these on a lightweight cardstock as well. Um, obviously that's personal preference, but I just like chunky cards. I have a thing for chunky, thick cards of substance. But these are really nice because they, um, when, after you glue them down, they're just really pretty much done. 
unless you want to go back through and ink anything else in there. So really easy. And if you wanted, you could leave these open and use them more like, like a little notebook and write on the inside as well. Or even print double-sided so you have like a nice neutral on the inside that you could use to journal in as well. All right, let's see. So I had a few just fun random little bits that I thought would be fun to just decorate a few of these with. So I'm just throwing on some little words and whatever you have. I think I want that over on the edge like that. Yeah, I like that. All right. So there's a little idea. If you want to embellish those at all, then go for it. I think I want a word on this one too. I don't want to put like lace on these because they are going to be inside envelopes. So I don't want to add too much bulk. All right. So I just have these fun little bits and I'm going to just stuff them in to my envelope. Cute, cute. And that is going to go like in a pocket on a journal or in a little belly band, something fun. And these are just fun and chunky and you just pick it up and it makes you happy. You know what I mean. I know you know. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, I want to do, you can put lace on the outside because that's not gonna matter because it will be not tucked away. So I'm gonna go ahead and Kind of spread that glue a little bit, make sure I get every bit of it. And then go ahead and trim. Oh, that's really crooked. <laughs> oh well. And I'll just use the envelope as the template to trim that down. And then I have this cute little sign here. Let's put that on, I like it. I think I got that blue velvet. It was a gift from my friend. My friend who always wraps presents so dang cute. Do you guys have a friend like that? So always her presents are like the classiest, cutest presents. All right, let's do a cute butterfly too. And I think I'm going to let that stay like kind of three dimensional with my butterfly. There we go. And it's okay if it hangs over the edge. So, ah, look how cute. Okay. There's a one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I think I want lace on this one too. I'm just gonna use a cotton lace for this one. So that's gonna go on this side. And it's just, Oh, that's pretty just like it is. Oh, I don't know if I want to add a butterfly on this or not. It's so pretty. This print is just awesome. I love it. Love it, love it. I probably could have... Oh, I cut my, cut my envelope just barely. It's okay. Nothing a little ink can't fix. Ink can fix just about anything. Hide just about any... <laughs> You know, you know you've used it. All right, oh, that's cute. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I like this giant butterfly. All right, so we'll go ahead and put that in the center. And I'm gonna put that a little more towards center here. Oh, it's just big and beautiful. All right, so just like that, like two little bits of ephemera. Oh, you can't see that pretty blue color in that velvet. Anyway. Just two little fun ephemera coin envelopes with these really fun little cards on the inside um, and some journaling on the back. So way easy, awesome to have around and way fun to use in your journal. So anyway, I'm gonna keep creating a few more fun tutorials for you guys with this month's kit. I have some fun ideas, I'm excited to play with it. And we will Talk to you again soon. 
Thanks for watching. Bye.